perfect. Now we have seen now how to manage this invoice. I want this invoice to be made as a template and then I want to use it every time I like to use this template I can do that as well. So I just have to save this as an entire uh, book as a template. Once I save it as a template I can manage, I can open the template, save as. Generally what I need to do is save this as a template, Excel macro enable template. Uh, I'll say macro Excel or invoice, I say invoice. Right, invoice.xlt, it will go as a template. So I am saving it under, uh, please note the path where I am saving it. So I am saving it under uh, C drive. So C drive, app data, roaming, Microsoft templates. So C user administrator, app data, roaming. So that's where I am saving it as. So I save it. Now I save it as a template. I go to new now new using my templates you can open the so invoice is my template I say ok so I close this I close it now I close it now I now go to new I just open my template so I can open my template, right? Then I can save the file in the way I want. What is the benefit of template? I get all the formulas intact. So I don't have to rewrite the formula for every sheet. I get the formula intact, I just have to type it and then save it. Right? So this is what so recently used templates, I can recently use the template, I can use it and then create it. I don't have to redo it again and again. So now I am into invoice 2, you can see invoice 1, invoice 2. So I can now change here, say i4, automatically all the values, when I run the macro, automatically all these things is changed. i6, i1. Right, run the macro. Run it. Invoice run it. So you can see everything has changed. And I can save this file. I can save this file. This is now normal Excel workbook. Invoice 2, you want to save it as invoice 2, invoice 2. So the idea of this template is, the idea of the template is you can, n number of times you can use it. You don't have to apply the formula, you just have to new new party address, you can just have to type it over here. So simple it is. Is macros are important in day to day, your, it is not, uh, it all depends on again what you are doing it in Excel sheet. In Excel sheet if you have a complex, if you are doing an invoice in Excel sheet then macros will help you to do it effectively. While writing macros, C9, C10 and C11 are same but C12 is different. Uh, so I'll just go back and then check the macro. i just go back and check this macro. So C10 is same. Oh, okay, this is different. That is why it is showing it as different. Right? So we, uh, we have to make sure that it is uh, references from here I think C12 minus 10. So it starts from the uh, second row. C11 minus 7. So it should not be minus 7. So C9 minus 7 is so it has to be 8. It has to be 9. This is whatever I am typing it here. So it is selecting that row here because of that. So this is R means whatever the row I have selected, so R means row of that. So C minus 2, C minus 2 is C7. So it is taking that into account, so that's fine. So this minus is with reference to this C, this selection. Anyway, now we have finished this. Now we have made it as proper. 
and the apply if i apply the macro here now you can see value is same a2 to b9 a2 to b7 a2 to b8 a2 to b9 a2 to b9 right so this is value because it is formula based we got the new value here so sum d9 to d16 so we have got all this right fine so this is what I like to cover so we have ended now with this can we write macro for creating chart record record a macro automatically it will get recorded automatically you know that how to write a macro for a chart as simple as that so I want to make a chart for this right I want to make a chart for this record a macro first I record a macro macro file I go to insert this is where I am I select this uh, query these are all now been recorded column bar graph so this is done now I come back to developer I stop my recording now I go to visual basic module 3 you can see now module macro file is recorded this is how you can add a chart so the formula is here now how to add a chart right that's it so simple so it is easy to manage anything only thing is you should know how to enable the record that's it formula just all right to understand how to make a formula how to apply a source you can see here set source data source colon equal to this is the main syntax method we call it as source colon equal to range this is very difficult to remember but if I put a record a macro it is easy for me now to do now I want to do a different range I can always change it here different data set I can always change it here the syntax that you follow is a VB scripting right so thanks a lot have a nice day I hope you have enjoyed the class. You are always privileged to go through the recorded session. Please feel free to contact us in case if you are not able to get the recorded session. Thanks a lot. Have a nice day. Bye. With this we are ending our uh, Excel session. So if you have any more queries, you can always send the mail to us. We will respond you back. Right? Please give your feedback. That will help us a lot. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye.